Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Thursday afternoon. I've been sitting in my place since, well, since I got up, waiting for the garage door repair person to show up. He finally did. Otherwise, I know you have shocked that I didn't give you the weather report, so I'll do it now. It's shit. It's in the 40s, it's overcast. At least it's not raining, because it was supposed to rain. Well, it's not raining now, but I, it's funny because they were like, oh, you know, the temperature is going to go up today. It went up. It went up to 49. So it's cold. Wah. Especially since, you know, how many days ago it was 80 something. And I enjoyed that. I'm on my way to three ships right now after sitting there all morning and, and doing day job stuff and, and, you know, waiting around, which goes against my grain. I decided I needed to get up and, and go do something. So I'm going to run to three ships you know, take something to my wife at the library and then I'll go check the box and see if there's anything. I haven't bought anything. Eh. So there shouldn't be anything there, but you never know. Bean has been gotten. Unfortunately, they were out of almond milk, so it's with oat and it's gross, but I'll drink it anyways because it's good for me. All right, let's go deliver Bean to the wife. <laughs> Okay, kids, it has been an incredibly frustrating day. I was up early. That has pretty much been the norm lately. I did get a bunch of deep sleep last night, which is the first time in like this entire week that I actually wasn't in the red. So it was much needed because I started getting pissy yesterday because I just haven't been getting enough rest. I can sleep, but not rest. So makes a big difference. Then I started doing day job stuff from the moment I walked into the office and I got a lot accomplished, which was great. It was all stuff that, that like needed to be done and I knew it needed to be done. And an email from a coworker just set that ball rolling. And I was able to go in and give him his answer, which then I was like, well, I'm already here. I might as well just do this right now. So I did. Then I went and made myself breakfast, which I thought, I better have a big breakfast because the garage door fella's coming and who knows how long that's going to take. Then I sat down and I started doing the day job stuff, or so I thought, because I started to, to go into our builder and build the thing that I needed to build. It didn't work. And I was like, okay, what the hell? Why won't this work for me? And I got very frustrated. I was talking to my coworker and he tried to go in and he's like, it's not working for me either. So I took a screenshot. I sent it to, to the account team and said, you know, I. I can't do this, this is what I'm getting. She tried to go in and do it, got even more errors than I did. So she expedited that up the, the wherever it needed to go. And I think I just see that she just emailed me back now, but that's only because then I was so frustrated. I said, all right, I need to just stop. At that point, I saw my neighbor. I went out and I chatted with her for a bit. I came back inside and the garage door guy came. So he came in, you know, found that my spring had exploded basically and it and it disconnected the cable that was lifting the door all messed up. Good news, the motor's fine. The bad news is I have an odd size spring. So he had to locate one of those and reschedule. So he's not coming back until next Monday. $225 that should be taken care of. Don't really want to spend $225 on the damn garage door, but I have no choice because since I haven't been able to use the garage door, I realized how often we use the garage door and how convenient it is. So that'll get fixed hopefully on Monday and that'll get taken care of. Then I went and got coffee and took that to my wife and everything. And, and you know, I guess they had a potluck lunch today. So she brought me in and said, like, make a plate and take it home. So I didn't have to think about lunch, which is good because I hate trying to think of what to eat. Made myself a plate and came home and I ate. Then I went back in and I tried to do what I was trying to do this morning again differently. 
it started to work. And I was like, great. But then I went in and found out that there was even more wrong. So I still couldn't do it. And I'm not happy about that, obviously. So more work frustration, couldn't get it working. I could feel the rage cup filling up and I was getting really, really pissed off. Fortunately, my wife must have felt that through the ether and she said she got a package. And I said, you know what? Now's a good time for me to stop doing this and to go because I'm getting really pissed off. So in the meantime, I called my coworker and he's had a really frustrating day with his kid. So he vented a little bit to me and then I vented him and told him about the other problem that I ran into. And he's like, geez, you're kidding me. So, you know, because if it affects me, it affects everybody on the team. We can't do stuff that we need to do. We both got that out of our system. And then I was like, okay, I guess I'll do some other shit, but I wasn't ready to do other day job shit because I'm still pissed. So I thought, you know what, I'll film. I started to try to mount the A7 IV and realized that the plate is spinning because I only had one screw up into the bottom of the small rig cage. And I thought, okay, I need to get another, you know, another screw because there's, there's plenty of holes and I can just put another one in there. The problem is, is that in order for it to work right, I had to push the plate back further, which then caused the camera to tip. And the whole point of me putting these big ass plates on there was so that it didn't do that. So I went through the magical drawers. I managed to find a longer plate that had just one long slot for the screws instead of having weird machined different holes at different spaces that didn't line up. And I got the plate on there with two screws. It's on there tight. It doesn't tip. Now the camera doesn't spin and all is well in the world. So I just did that and thought, you know what? I better film right now whilst I can and get that done. The other thing is that I was looking forward to going out this weekend, you know, probably to Pleasure House Point with the 70 to 200 with the two times extender on the a7 IV so that I can test the bird eye autofocus and all the other shit, you know, that I haven't really taken the time to do on this because I'm always filming on it. I went and checked the weather. Like, I'm staggered. This is the temperature range for Saturday. High of 60, low of 27, rain, sleet, and snow. What? Like, I, it was 80 degrees last weekend. What the hell? So I'm like, ugh. So Saturday is probably gonna be a bust and I'm not gonna be doing anything outside. I guess that means I can just sit in here and do day job stuff. <laughs> or something like that. And, and then I'll take the time on that day to actually break down everything in the garage and get it out of the way. So when the garage door repairman comes on Monday, all my shit's out of the way. I gotta move Maddie out of the way. I gotta take the stands down. I gotta move the shelf and all that shit. So I'll take care of all that. So the, the, the gist of today's video is sometimes shit just doesn't work the way it's supposed to. And it's incredibly frustrating. And you have to be able to take a step away and calm down or you'll be an angry monkey and, and you'll wanna like take a wiffle ball bat to people and nobody needs that. So I am like trying to zen out and calm down. It's going on six o'clock, my wife will be home soon and you know, we'll have dinner and, and I'll chill and I'll try to do a little bit more day job stuff that I, that I know that I can get done and just call it a night and I'll start fresh tomorrow. Don't think we have anything tomorrow. We were supposed to have a training and I already told my coworker, I says, I don't give a shit about that training. I'm not being on that call, I have other things to do. And it turns out that they changed it to Monday. So it should be good to go. I also, and I thought that I wrote this down and I put it on my calendars. Maybe I didn't put it on my work calendar, but I have Friday off next week. So I only have a four day week. Two of those are gonna be out traveling and doesn't give me much time to do all the other shit that I gotta do. So it's, you know, oh, and the other thing is that, yeah, my boss asked us where we were all gonna be for the next two weeks because he's gonna send the new guy to us, you know, depending on the schedules and all that kind of stuff. So I might be having another new hire um, hanging out and I'll have, to, I'll have to think about that because that means a lot more work for me and a lot more strategic planning. That's all I've got for you today. I just kind of wanted to vent and talk about the fact that, you know, like every other person in the world, sometimes shit just doesn't go the way you want. And you're just gonna have to roll with the punches and, and take it and figure out a new plan of attack and do what you gotta do. Hopefully you have somebody that you can vent to, that, that understands and will help you calm down. I mean, I can always torture my wife with that kind of shit, but I, she usually only gets a little bit of it. And now my coworker, you know, because we both have to deal with the same shit, has been a big help to me. And, and I'm very thankful for him. And I hope you have somebody that you can vent to that helps calm you down when you're ready to strangle people. That's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.